The things that uh, in creativity we need to do is to uh, uh, reduce this control, attentional control. And uh, things that like, uh, for example, walking while uh, creating, uh, doing uh, secondary task while we are doing uh, primary task, all these things, you know, try to, to remove a uh, little bit of control. Uh, so something that distracts you but not too much, because if you are too distracted, you cannot focus on your main task. So for example, walking, it's not very distracted, but it's, uh, it's removed a little bit of uh, control on your uh, thinking. And, uh, and because there is this duality in, in the processes of creating, we need to have the freedom to think about options. So there is in the brain uh, a network uh, we can talk about it later, the default network, who leads to this exploration of the memories and you, you, you said the, the five senses and the information that are linked. For example, if you think about uh, uh, the last time you went to Brest or uh, I, I don't know, so there, there are sounds linked to this image, there are smells, there are... Uh, so this is what you explore, in fact, and these things are stored in the memory and... Uh, uh, so. Uh, this, um, this, the access to this uh, imagery, to this uh, part of the brain network, uh, <clears throat> you cannot have it if you are focusing on something uh, visual or something that is uh, involving your, uh, from the environment, something that involves your response. So to be able to access, uh, it's like, you know, they are uh, negatively correlated, you know, the control, uh, block the imagination or block the default mode, uh, mode of, of the brain.